So here we are, as I promised you all, uh, I'm going to uh, start this uh, startup series uh, with all my friends and uh, with all the um, bud budding uh, startup uh, owners whom I know in my circle uh, to know their hardships, to know their inspiration and to know what, what made them to start their business. I'll make it more informative uh, and I'll try to keep it uh, more interactive as well. So why do delay? Uh, let me dial the first guest speaker. His name is Akil, uh, but uh, we'll know more about him now in a few minutes. Hi, Akil. Are you able to hear me? Yeah, yeah I can hear you, Aditya. How are you doing? I am doing great. How are you doing? Doing, doing good. Uh, actually, I'm excited to talk with you. Uh, and I hope I did not disturb your weekend schedule. No, 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 definitely, definitely not. It's uh, it's been a long time. We 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 are we are catching up like this. Yeah, yeah. I already gave an intro about what is the series uh, to my viewers. So I'll not uh, take much time into it. So I'll let's quickly get into that. Okay. So first and basic uh, question, uh, Akil, uh, is uh, can can you give introduce yourself to the viewers? Like, who are you and uh, from where you are based out of? And then yeah, followed sure. by like, what is your startup about? Yeah. Sure, Aditya. Uh, so I am Akhil Ashokan. I am based out of Hyderabad, uh, and I am the founder of uh, KairlyStore.com. It's an e-commerce startup based out of Hyderabad as well. Uh, you can purchase authentic, uh, good quality Kerala products from our Android and iOS apps, and the items will be delivered at your doorstep. So it's like an e-commerce service uh, that is very uh, uh, specifically uh, catering to uh, Kerala population who are living in Hyderabad. So that's uh, that's my startup. Okay, so to all my viewers now, uh, I I will uh, provide the uh, app link as well as the uh, link of uh, Akil startup. So if you are curious to know more about it, and you can browse it. So let let me immediately go to the next question. So Akil, I know about this. I know about Kairali, and I've I've seen lot of your lot lot of your ads and uh, brochures and all. So uh, can you tell me like when when it all started and what made you to start this? Like what was the basic uh, reason that you started it because i know uh, we we you are also into uh, you also had a safe corporate job which we all have and um, uh, we, we we are you're all already busy like you already have a nine to six job and you're already busy and you're already swamped up with a lot of work so with all this already around you what made you what 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 made you to go into this extra mile and how did you manage to do do it and like what was the basic reason that you wanted to start this uh, sure um so Aditya, uh, basically there is a huge population of uh, you know Keralaites uh, living in Hyderabad, and uh, most of these people are from Kerala who have uh, done their education and they have, who have lived most of the youth and most of the childhood in Kerala, and they moved to Hyderabad uh, seeking uh, you know uh, job opportunities and settled here in Hyderabad. And the people, these people, they they uh, they want. Uh, I, mean, I mean, they always want these uh, authentic, good quality Kerala products, which are not uh, readily available in in Hyderabad. And of course, there are a lot of um, you know uh, general stores which uh, you know which sell these products. They they get these items from Kerala and then they sell. But you know what I what I saw is more and more people now. Now it's a digital age. You know, more and more people are willing to pay premium to get their products. Uh, you know, delivered at their home and you know at their doorstep. They want. Their convenience and people are uh, looking more towards you know those kind of uh, business uh, those kind of services and as you see that you know services like big basket amazon flipkart you know all uh, e-commerce business are uh, like really doing great nowadays so i thought it will be a very good opportunity because i i saw there is a very big um, you know space in the market you know people cannot readily go and purchase because it, it's a high city hyderabad city is still a huge city and um, you know the people have to travel some people have to travel really very far to purchase these products so i thought it will be a very good uh, I, I saw there is a, of course there is a big gap in the market and uh, that's why i thought let's let's start this uh, uh, online uh, kerala business and uh, let's let's try it out so that was my um, you know that's why i started this uh, startup yeah, so you saw the opportunity. So I, I I can understand that you saw the opportunity in market and you saw the space in the market. But uh, what energized you? Like, see, we we all see opportunities yes. around us. Okay, I understood. Only, only, I understood. You understood, right? See, yeah. I also see opportunities in day, in day to day life. But 
I don't react to it. I don't energize myself. Okay, let's get into this. But so, what was that X factor that made that energize you to to grab this grab this opportunity? That's that's yeah. So, so I I'm a very uh, curious individual by nature. I like uh, uh, you know something that arouses my curiosity. I go and start researching about it. And uh, I used to read about a lot of startups. Um, a lot of uh, you know used to read about a lot of technologies that are getting funding, which are doing uh, great in the market. Um, and uh, one day I was when I was uh, traveling from Coimbatore, I came across a YouTube channel and. Uh, Uh, he showed how to set up an e-commerce store in just one hour, like a proper functioning, fully functional e-commerce store, and there was no code involved. It was completely uh, config based. You know, there is no code, no coding involved. And it was fully functional, and um, I and I was some I, I, having spent about two years in an e-commerce uh, uh, company uh, like Amazon. Um, you know, I was uh, uh, you know of. Uh, naturally inclined uh, towards uh, you know this e-commerce domain i wanted to uh, uh, you know explore this uh, e-commerce market space and i was i, I tried multiple business even before kindly store uh, i i tried uh, i tried a bit of drop shipping using shopify i also tried uh, selling a few products uh, in the indian market uh, so i tried i made some money i lost some money i, I made some profit and i and i sold some of those businesses and uh, some of them i closed i learned from those mistakes uh, but then uh, when i saw there is this uh, opportunity during the covid it was at the time of covid where i thought it would be a very good uh, chance to try it out uh, so uh, like i always uh, you know want to test something out and it was uh, it was like i could not stop it i i wanted to try it out at least because you know what i feel is uh, uh, something that you want to try you always try it and uh, rather than regretting in the late, later time that you know uh what could have been and so i, I just tried it and uh, fortunately it clicked this time so uh, after multiple failed uh biz- online businesses i finally found a uh, gold in uh, you know carelystore.com so that nice, was uh, nice. my my inspiration like that was my why i started uh, something uh, like this so so the first is opportunity and next uh, the uh, the reason that you started is you you are you are by nature by virtue of its na- your nature itself you are you are a curious person so that made you to yeah. do this so okay yes. the you you have a, a answer for why to do it and you have answer to uh, why to get into it so now you as i said you are too busy i know like you you uh, you you have you have your own work and you have we have our own yeah. jobs to do so yes. in in this in this situation and uh, already we were going in in lot of emotional turmoil and personal turmoil during this yes. covid right so the everything was not so going normal so in with all the situations uh, like how did you manage to get into this like uh, did you really have time or did you make time uh, like so oh. I, i mean it it, it depend, depends right so we have I understand things. so uh, sometimes we have time and we do it sometimes we make time so what 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 was your uh, situation did you make your oh. make time yourself to get into this <laughs> yeah i had to literally make a lot of time i was working 7 uh, days a week so 5 days i used to handle i'm in work i work in a consulting space and that's 5 days a week so monday to friday i do uh, i do my usual work and the rest two days i me and my brother so my entire family was uh, behind this actually so entire family we started as a uh, yeah because yeah because it's an e-commerce business and there are a lot of uh, you know there, there are two types of business basically one is like services where you know um, you know the you you there is different service of business is a different from e-commerce business because uh, e-commerce is again commodity based if you you are actually selling a physical physical product right and so there is sourcing involved there is inventory handling uh, customer service is there you know administration packaging and delivery so there it was a lot of lot of things that uh, you have to you have to take care of and most of our customers uh, they are very used to online shopping uh, they and you know they 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 are uh, they were expecting the services like uh, big basket grofers amazon and flipkart and that was their expectation and as you see in if even if you start any kind of business uh, that is a minimum expectations uh, now from all the customers you know, they want a uh, seamless seamless kind of a service so i had to always be on my toes you know handling everything from technology to customer service you know uh, answering to customers problems at any time of the day um you know sometimes uh, they make the payment and then they come and say i want to edit this order and i did not have that functionality and i have to manually do a lot of things uh, in the portal in the in the, the back end systems and all so yeah i was uh, working 
24 uh, 7 i mean it was it was it was definitely difficult and a lot of people uh, think uh, uh, you know entrepreneurship is because it's fancy yeah uh, because you know a lot of uh, uh, billionaires like you know elon musk and all they want to be like and their role models and uh, they they it, they make it look very fancy but they don't really know the hard work that goes behind it once you start a business uh, you are completely responsible for that business you know any any kind of problem comes you will be the person and nobody is going to be uh, you know uh, do it other than you so you yeah. always have to be on your toes and uh, it, it was definitely difficult but uh, my entire family was there and uh, helping me and uh, uh, take this uh, ahead and uh, we did really good Uh, in 2020 uh, <clears throat> so yeah it, it is definitely challenging and uh, juggling multiple things is uh, really challenging uh, entrepreneurship uh, is really good but it it might not be for everyone uh, it, it, you have to be really passionate uh, you know it's not just the money you have mm-hmm. to be really passionate about why you want to do it so yeah so it's it's not only being passionate i feel i think uh, as you as you were saying that you were working 24 by 7 uh we we can we can work 24 by 7 for a month for a, for, a, for two months but uh, later we get into a situation where we get exhausted and we started asking questions ourselves why why and and that so did you do never get into that situation like uh uh the, 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 like why did you start all this why do i need this extra burden uh, i'm 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 good with my job right so why why should i go into why should i do more uh uh why should i uh, uh, what do you say burn myself more and uh, and you, and again you said your family is involved into this and they might have also uh like they they, they might have yeah. uh, uh, had had their uh, hardships as well like there there would have been some heating moments between within your family during this uh, during this work like in any person uh, you 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 can work 25 by 7 yourself because you have you have you have passion towards it but if you are making a team work towards your passion they should also be aligned to it so how were your family yes. uh, aligned to it like were they supportive or did you uh, somehow yeah, what, what, they, what was the secret yeah i mean um, uh, like you know they were they were very supportive and uh, what what i did i i completely um, you know divided the jobs like i will take care of this and uh, this is your responsibility so my mother used to do help with uh, inventory management like counting and i had an inventory management system in the back end and my father used to also run a general store so at times he will come and take some items from this inventory and my inventory uh, the numbers will not match with the uh, items in in the uh, warehouse from where i uh, my my customers buy you know my system did it uh, from that inventory so uh, at times there were there were heated conversation because you know my father takes it and he doesn't he forgets to note it down and all yeah so there were some heated moments but overall it was a great experience aditya now uh, it was a team work my my brother used to help me with the delivery and all and we, me and my brother we used to i actually bought a delivery vehicle uh, a carrier for delivering this products and uh, uh, my brother used to take half and one part of the city he used to take and the other part of the city i used to uh, travel um, uh, in my car and with all the deliveries and used to deliver and two days saturday and sunday it was it used to be fully occupied like we start morning 7 and uh, sometimes uh, get back home at 10 10 pm and even our customers were very understanding because they knew that uh, it's just too you know initially some of the customers were very agitated that their orders are not getting here on time and uh, you know uh, you know we, we promise some time but sometimes it just gets a little uh, delayed and all and yeah. then we then we we explain that see it's just three or two or four people that we are doing it so and a lot of customers actually appreciated saying that thank you for uh, you know bringing the service uh, uh, here because it was difficult for them to get these products elsewhere so um, and later on most of us uh, customers uh, and we we had a lot of repeat customers at least 70% of the customers were repeat um, uh, so uh, mo- 70% customers they always used to uh, order every bi weekly we had every week weekly or weekly ordering customers bi weekly ordering customers and monthly ordering customers and the uh, average order value was around 1000 uh, rupees per order, order overall so um it it was great there were some challenges but uh, uh, we found some software solutions uh, and yeah, we tried to before, automate as so, much as uh, possible before going there i mean let we have i'll we'll talk about challenges but uh, so uh, i'll come back to the same question again uh, if you don't mind so i mean you are working 24 by 7 and you are you are making a family work work 24 by 7 so where where was there any moment where they got 
uh, agitated at you like uh, i'm done i'm done now you do your work i'm done uh, i don't i don't want to get involved so was there any such a, such type of challenge uh, well yeah multiple times and actually it was not them uh, who thought of let's let's quit this because it was myself because i w- i have never seen my mom uh, work so much <laughs> in her life uh, as as and even she she says that you know uh, i have never worked this hard in my life uh, <laughs> till uh, for, so uh, you know i i and as a matter of fact i'm no longer uh, associated with kairly store so i'm kind of like yeah. an ex founder or ex ceo right now uh, it is it, it was definitely exhausting and uh, and uh, you know i was because uh, i was not able to because i am working two jobs it was very difficult because you cannot uh, you, you you have to dedicate the, the the time that is available entirely to that uh, specific business and even my um, you know uh, i was not able to give enough time for my wife because you know we both get just two days off and those two days i am not available yeah. for her yeah. so um, it was uh, pretty difficult uh, so so yeah, multiple so times uh, i thought of shutting it down <laughs> okay so then then uh, what made you to again uh, come back and start it restart it like uh, like so, um, you, you did not actually shut it down, right? yeah no i did not i still running it still yeah, running yeah uh, i know so, so so what made you to uh, consistently work on it though though you were so, uh, um, exhausted what i thought uh, i mean um, I, I thought of start shutting it down. Then I thought, uh, I mean, it's it's a very uh, good service, and a lot of customers rely on this uh, uh, business to get their favorite items. Uh, so, um, one of my uh, cousin, uh, cousin, uh, they, he was uh, not currently working, and he was interested in uh, uh, getting into this. So, um, I, I I actually pulled him into this business, and he has been running uh, this business since. So he is taking care of the entire uh, business, and uh, and eventually he bought it from me. So okay. that's what happened. So it it is currently running, but it's not. Uh, I am no longer the owner. He is the owner of that business. Yeah. So on, the uh, only passion that made you uh, drive drive all this, right? So even if you were exhaust exhausted, uh, the the inner passion that you had since the beginning that that has driven you uh, to consistently yes. work on it, even if you uh, that you were exhausted. Yeah. So yeah. yeah uh, Yeah, that that that's interesting, and uh, actually, that that's that's where uh, I I wanted to uh, like uh, explain all my viewers that it's not only uh, the in- initial curiosity or the uh, adrenaline rush to start something. It all it all depends on how consistently you uh, work on it. So that's that's a key factor. So that's the reason I was probing you onto this question, like why were you not shutting it down when you are too much exhausted. so yeah that that answers it so uh, akil now coming to covid so we we all had a tough times so uh, during yeah. covid and so uh, and and this 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 is something that it's not only uh, impacting your personal life but now it it also impacts your uh, business like uh, if if you take one wrong step it might it might uh, lead to a different consequence during those times so how did you manage to do your deliveries during covid like uh, how did you Uh, did you did you not feel uh, uh, say uh, unsafe uh, like okay let's let's stop it for a uh, while uh, because we don't know from where we we will be get contracted to this so and you are in, you are involved you have involved your family also into this so how did you how did you overcome that phase like how did you did you so, shut down um, during covid or did you operate no, no, uh, some, sometimes no actually quite quite the opposite uh, we we started okay. during covid Okay. because we we pivoted uh, during covid because uh, you know before covid my father was actually running a, a general store and i always had this as i told you i have done multiple businesses uh, online business and i how ha- i had this uh, curiosity to try it one more time and make it one successful one more time and um, at that time my father was running his general general store and uh, uh, he at that time of covid there were very less customers uh, coming to his store so mm. uh, and some people who actually wanted to come but uh, were not able to because Super of this difficult. covid and yeah. uh, they called my father and said can you, because at that time delivery people essentials uh, were being delivered and uh, mm. we had that permission to go out and do the deliveries and all uh, so a few of my customers called my father and asked can you can you get it delivered to my home because you know i cannot come in yeah. i really need yeah. this so we did it uh, so my father asked me to do it and i did it for like two three customers and then more people started calling and uh, so we thought okay let's let's help them out so we were just delivering to one community actually one society and uh, 
what happened was um, more and more people the demand kept on going up and it was difficult for me to manage so then we shifted to whatsapp you know uh, okay. uh, we, we created a group and uh, put all your orders there it was still mm. getting difficult because you know some days it was 20 orders and next next week you know, next in next uh, week it will be like 30 35 orders and it was difficult for us to track and like whose order is what and all and at that time uh, i was thinking like uh, can we do this online i mean can we do it like a uh, because i always did this and i want to try it and at that time um, uh, i don't know if you have heard about open financial technologies and uh, one of my customers was a very good friend with the ceo of this uh, open financial technology it's a new banking startup actually and okay. uh, they were uh, planning on uh, doing an uh, you know providing software technology for uh, the the general stores who want to do local uh, hyper local okay. business Uh, so i was the very first uh, person who got enrolled uh, into their application and uh, they, they actually helped me do it for free uh, uh, because you know I, i was able to give them a lot of feedbacks and all uh, for, for betterment of the product so uh, i started uh, on the, their application and after a month or two i saw definitely potential because uh, it was easy for me to for us to handle the orders and it was more customers were able to do it easily Uh, they had a uh, very easy way of ordering it as well uh, so then we we launched our own application and uh, and then rest is history oh nice so that's so it so it, it so it's other way around then so it covid actually brought the opportunity to you yeah right? actually <laughs> there were a lot of businesses uh, that thrived uh, during covid especially exactly so the, the, the positive and all yeah the positive side of covid is that i mean it, it brought technology and the business people together and uh, yes. it it gave us good opportunities yeah i mean it has its own positive sides uh, but but uh, so how did you manage your deliveries during covid so did did you do your self uh, delivery or did yeah, you have any yeah we were so the first initial few months it was me and my brother who were doing the deliveries and later we hired a person a delivery guy who will be doing the deliveries because uh, at the time uh, my brother had has an interiors business and he is an interior designer he does home furnishings and all and uh, during the time of covid he was basically free so he was helping out uh, with the deliveries even me and my brother together we were doing the deliveries and when uh, covid was uh, you know uh, the the restrictions and all uh, the shutdown was uh, uh, removed um, my brothers uh, my brothers business again started running and uh, he was getting busy so we busy. hired a delivery person to do the deliveries okay. so that's how we managed it was us who is doing all the delivery and uh, the after after doing a lot of deliveries i have special respect for uh, uh, these delivery guys because uh, you know it, it looks very easy it's, it yeah. looks very easy in the hindsight that you know oh is this what taking from here and getting it delivered but it it is very difficult it is very exhausting you you don't understand how exhausting it is uh when, and for us you know people used to order like very you know 10 kg bags and 5 kg bags and uh, we had to carry this entire box uh, and all it was it was really difficult and some yeah. of these societies they don't even allow allow uh, delivery inside, guys to yeah. use lifts yeah and um, and also i i can understand uh, how people treat delivery people differently than the usual people so uh, they think i'm a delivery guy and they think hey udhar hat hey udhar hat they talk very rudely these security guys and yeah. uh, i actually had a, a, a little argument with uh, one of these uh, uh, security guys uh, one day <laughs> so it it was funny but yeah you know that's how they treat and i i have a special respect for these delivery people nowadays yes, yeah, i think it's, it's uh, only when we get into the shoes of each and every job that's when exactly exactly yeah the only only then we can empathize with, uh, with them, you know how yeah. exactly uh, that, that job role does yeah okay so uh, agil so let me go into the uh, next question so mm-hmm. you 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 were doing lot of things online i mean you you, you were actually uh, leveraging the technology that you know mm-hmm. so how how important uh, that uh, for example i am i'm a layman i do not know anything about technology mm-hmm. but i want to start something some some business but i want to take help of technology so how important is that uh, for a person to know the technology and uh, is is it important that the person should be uh, knowledgeable in that technology and then do it or is it something that they can freelance it or is it something that they can outsource it so how in in which uh, option or in which uh, approach do you do you see the uh, efficiency is it that person trying to learn everything and then doing it himself or do you do you think okay. he should hire someone and do it for them 
uh, well uh, i think it depends okay uh, my answer is it depends it depends uh, on the the type of requirement that i have if you are just starting out and uh, believe me there are so many tools out there no code and as a matter of fact i don't know to write even a single code uh, in a single line of code i i, I don't know coding and all uh, the only thing that you need to understand is uh, you know you you need to uh, know how to search for answers how to look for answers that's the uh, main thing that you should be knowing so if you if you want this okay you you need you need to know how to research how to how to figure out okay what might be the things that it requires okay you find like okay a b c these are the things that is required to run a uh or to get a specific outcome now how do we get that a b c that is uh, how i did it and as of today if you if if you have any kind of business model in your uh, in your mind uh, to execute it there are there is there is there is 99% chance there is some company who is providing a saas mod saas uh, application in that specific technology that you can uh, you know white label and use it as your own so uh, uh, if you ask me is technology important yes it is very important but should you know should be you like uh, you know thorough with technology definitely no you can start a business without having much knowledge in the technology but you just need to know how to how to uh, you know get the, get those answers and how to uh, you know get everything together and start and at, at times you might need some expert support and definitely you can look for freelance support and there are so many websites that provides uh, a good quality freelancers at very good rates so there is upwork there is fiverr so i i leveraged uh, these uh, platforms to get my work done yeah so but but what what do, which approach do you think is the best mm. like is it something that i i uh, for example if i if i'm starting something okay but i do not i am I'm, i'm just like you i do not know much of the code i, I completely forgot those were the days where uh, it's been like uh, 10 to 12 10 uh, 10 years back where i started working on a code but it's now it's been 10 years that i i i don't know anything about code but now i want to start something so what is your suggestion to me uh, people like me where uh, do you want me to uh, learn technology as you go or do you think okay you have a business idea but don't invest time in technology try to uh, grab a person who is well in technology uh, transfer your business knowledge to him tell him your business requirements and get the technology for you from him so which which approach is uh, is something is, is good i yeah so if if you want to get into market faster then definitely the second approach because you know it will take time for you to learn the technology and master it and then by the time you are uh, you know actually launching that product it, it will somebody else might do it right yeah. you know, so yeah. uh, i would definitely say uh, the second option again uh, it's about like the you know you when you start anything any any kind of business start with a mvp like a minimum viable product do the least amount of investing and try with a very uh, small population of customers take their feedback and see how is their experience and then you if if you think there is a potential then you see what is the next next thing that you have to do to get more customers you know it's always uh, that unit economics and at the end of the day business is about making money right so yeah. you you always look into the unit economics and see okay what is the next step that you have to do to make uh, the the product better so that the more customers will come and uh, sign up and you know place orders or you know it could be e-commerce or any business it's all about start with an mvp try it out with try to get those first 100 customers and i understand like when people get a business idea in their mind this is how their thought process it was my thought process as well initially like okay uh, this is uh, this product uh, we get it for like in wholesale market we get it for 10 rupees and if we sell it for 100 rupees we can get 90 rupees profit so if we if we sell it to 1000 customers uh, we can get 90 90000 or we can make 9 lakhs so this is how people think like it is very easy and uh, uh, but uh, you know it is very difficult first focus on getting those first 100 paying customers that's that should be your very first focus you know get that first customer get that first 10 paying customers and then you you understand what the customer wants and there you can understand like you know uh, are are you really do you really have a business that people are interested in uh, you know uh, uh, subscribing to your business or do they want to buy from you uh, is there a really a uh, gap you know sometimes we think okay this might be a good business but uh, sometimes it doesn't work out because a lot of uh, lot of factors so that's my my suggestion is uh, you know if you, if you have an idea in mind definitely go for it you never should not think like okay uh, uh, should should i do it or not because you know we, most of you know people who are watching this video they might be young and the responsibilities are less as of now so it is always good to take a little bit of risk if you if you fail you will always uh, 
you know learn from those mistakes and you will yeah. learn something new Correct. right now i have a very good uh, i have relatively good knowledge uh, in e-commerce domain and how this business works and how customer experience should work and it has also helped me in the consulting uh, the during the, the daily job that i do i have a better way to talk to clients i can understand my clients better so oh, uh, yeah. you know some way you, there is always a learning so yeah. even if you fall just fall forward and then yeah. again so you, as, to, you know keep walking forward so as they say it's it's better to uh try and fail rather not try yeah. at all <laughs> yeah so yeah exactly I know, I know. exactly you know <laughs> exactly okay so uh, so it so it, i i can i understand that it all depends on the individual's requirement if you if you want to get into market quickly go and freelance it or if you if you have the time and if you can make time do it yourself so that that's what i understood mm-hmm. uh from what you said okay so now now uh, which which approach do you think is expensive when it comes to cost is it doing it all you by yourself uh, learning and doing it yourself or is it by do- getting it freelance so which approach so, is cost effective so when you, when you talk about cost you should also think about time factor okay so time mm-hmm. is also uh, because time is also money right so yeah. if you look at time as well you have to take a call like if you are going to learn it by yourself uh, how much of resources you have and uh, can you do it by learning yourself is there a way i mean if you are confident that you can do it by yourself definitely go for it and a lot of startups have uh, you know founders who who do code and they 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 develop it and some um, some some of the startups they they have an idea they find the right people they develop it and they sell it Hmm. now uh, like for example if you if you look at uh, mukesh ambani does he does he know how to code definitely no but is he launching technology platform definitely yes right he doesn't know how to code but you know it, it depends on uh, you know a lot of uh, factors but if you have the time and if you think that you can uh, get into the market faster by just learning it yourself and doing it definitely go for it uh, else my suggestion will be like uh, uh, start with minimum investment you know whatever is a minimum viable product you you can invest in that and you can just start it and see if it works it works if it doesn't work it doesn't work you know you you try 10 business out of those 10 if one of them uh, you know works very well then uh, you know that is uh, yeah. that is like that, that is like that, nothing that, 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 that is like nothing right it yeah. will it will serve for all the failures that you had in the past yeah yeah okay okay so so akil uh, can we can you quickly uh, give us some list of uh, e-commerce tools which which will help uh, the viewers to get started if if they want to start uh, get into this any any of their online business any any e-commerce okay. tools that that will help them yeah so uh, if, if if you are uh, planning on doing any kind of uh, if you want to get into e-commerce kind of a startup uh, there are a couple of things that you have to uh, think about uh, first thing is uh, uh do you do you want to sell to pan india or are you trying to do hyper local and what are the type of customers are there going to be a lot of repeat customers you have to think about the acquisition Back cost off. you know hmm. are are you are you going to how much have to do you plan on paying for advertising or anyway the customer acquisition cost is one more factor and the technology and there are a lot of no code technologies if you want to get started you can explore wordpress uh there is woocommerce which is a free plugin that you can use and you can configure your own store and there are a lot of plugins like you know for delivery and all uh, you just have to uh, you know install this plugin a free plugin and sign up for their services uh, any order that comes you know the delivery person will come to your home pick up the product and get it delivered and there is a cash on delivery uh, as well you know though that feature is also there so to get started there are a ton of tools like shopify is there woocommerce is there uh you can also try webflow if you want to go with a very good looking stylish website and if if you want to try a hyper local kind of a business model where you want an app kind of a thing uh you can try uh you can check out jungle works um it's it's that's what that was the one that i used for uh, carly store uh jungle works is a saas platform so i i launched this app for just uh, uh you know uh, 500 that's how much it cost me to launch it and test it and it, it 500 really well per uh, per year or uh... for entire for entire uh, for entire setup and oh. uh, there there's a monthly subscription phase you can go and check out uh, jungle works and uh, and there are other so what, uh, what is what is the cost that you said is it 500 500 dollars it it cost me around 35 35 40000 Okay. Uh, rupees to uh, initially do the setup and they used uh, uh, google firebase to launch the apps and also google has a free tier account 
so it, it is not very expensive nowadays to launch an app and there are a lot of uh, no code tools out there you just have to explore it and you know depending on what kind of a uh, uh, business that you want to set up you you have all the tools you just know you just have to know how to google stuff and uh, you can figure it out and you can just uh, you know it, it's all about uh, you know finding the answers and uh, keep trying until you success yeah got it so uh, akil if i ask in a nutshell like if i quickly uh, categorize them and if i say what what is a tool uh, which which is like a cost effective and which will help the uh, uh, local customers like they don't want to go pan india they just want to serve their local communities or within within a district a small headquarter district or a town so what 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 type of uh, tool that you would suggest to them and they they they, they want to want it to be a cost effective and a very very medium customer base you know uh, when you say cost effective and medium customer base it, it again depends on the type of customer so if you want uh, the reason i went with an app based approach for kairli store is because you know i did not want to spend a lot of money on customer acquisition i wanted such that because i know that there will be a repeat customer orders so once the customer purchases and he will have that app uh, with him and he will again uh, he can just go to his app and you know start ordering again so uh, that was my uh, thinking when i went for an app based approach if you are going to sell uh, something that uh, that has relatively less repeat customers so you know right how much uh, how many times a customer might purchase for example uh, if you are selling a speaker let's say some kind of a phone or electronic you know customer will buy it today Yeah. And uh, after three, four years, or after a year or two, he'll buy a phone again, right? Correct. So if correct. you if you are running like a just uh, only a phone kind of business and just a very small area, you can start with a, a web based uh, uh, web based uh, online store, and it will cost uh, relatively very less. You can get less, started yeah. with just twenty nine dollars. You know, just twenty nine dollars, two thousand five hundred rupees. It all that's all it costs to start an online uh, store. Just two thousand five hundred rupees or three thousand. Yeah, but but and when it comes of, to when it comes to application uh mm-hmm. you you said we have multiple tools multiple plugins right so which which tool is best for a customer base medium customer base uh, company uh, who wants to get operated within a small town or district like and uh, uh, and and similarly the other way other way around like if they want to go globally and uh, if they want to have a large customer base uh, what what type of platform should we use in this both categories in uh, what type of tools uh, like on top of your mind okay so these two categories so, um, yeah so for uh, something that you want to do pan india and then if you want to go global i would definitely prefer i, I would personally prefer shopify because it has a lot of uh, uh, plugins and lot of uh, applications uh, integrated that i can easily use for and it, it's not just uh, you know selling you know ordering i mean taking an order from customer is just one part and there is a lot of uh, other things uh, that goes be- behind the scenes after yeah. getting the order you you need to maintain inventory you have to do the shipping uh, there is customer service and then there is marketing efforts as well and you have to do efficient marketing you know uh, you know you don't you don't have to sp- uh, burn a lot of money in marketing you have to do it very uh, very pragmatically so uh, there is again facebook there is google adwords there is facebook pixel and facebook ads uh, there is uh, you know if if you want to uh, if you think that your customers are in different platforms different social media platforms like even if for quora or reddit there are uh, you know marketing tools out there uh, for those specific uh, platforms as well so you rely on those and you use it and do their marketing efforts and then uh, for shipping services there is uh, for india there is ship rocket it's a very good aggregator for all the shipping uh, you know shipping requirements a customer if if you want to uh, ship and you can you can see different ship, shipping uh, services and you can see which is the which is the one that will uh, ship it for the very less cost so mm-hmm. there is a uh, ship rocket is there um, and again if you want to uh, do it like a, a website where you have a blog and you also want to integrate a store then you can go for woocommerce it's the wordpress based and uh, if you want to do something like a hyper local where you want to just uh, sell your own items or if you want to aggregate a lot of customers Hmm. you know uh, like uh, if you you will like like swiggy swiggy is hmm. a very good example yeah. or zomato yeah. there is there are a lot of restaurants to choose from you can yeah. use uh, jungle works uh, uh, jungle works has um, um, uh, has one platform where it, you can create a hyper local uh, business like that so there are, and you, there are there might be more you know i have i, I got my answer you know i got my uh, uh, 
you know a uh, business which can provide me this solution and i stop there but if you if you explore more that could be more uh, you can yeah. go to websites like code canyon and you can see in uh, you know fully built application that you can you know you can deploy mm. uh, so you know you have to explore what is the best but these are the tools that come on top of my mind actually so so you i i'm hearing a lot about wordpress and hearing a lot about shopify so in out out of out of this two wordpress and shopify which which is something that would uh, cater uh, our requirements when it comes to small scale and uh, cost effective and and uh, and, and for a per, for a person who is not strong in technology shopify is definitely because wordpress uh, still require it's still a complicated setup shopify is very easy to set up so i would i would say shopify you know it's very just click and configure thing uh, when so when, when I, it comes to cost when it comes to cost uh, even cost it's very cost effective uh, it, like the 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 very basic plan starts at 29 dollars and mm-hmm. the 29 dollar plan is more than enough uh, to uh, cater to a lot of customers so uh akil thanks for all your inputs uh, i think uh, we were we were uh, we didn't we didn't think that it would take too long <laughs> i'm really sorry for that but yeah i want no, to no. Uh, i want to use this opportunity uh, so i i will ask i would like to ask you one last question sure so for uh, for people who are uh, getting into budding budding stage uh, into startup right now and, and and we are already into a lot of advancements into technology and advancements mm-hmm. into uh, i mean we we now have a startup in every street right now it, it's not yes. it's not uh, now we are in 2022 so it's not like how we were like 5 years back or 10 years back so mm-hmm. with this with this competition uh, do you think there is still a vac- uh, space uh, for people who wants to get into business and if so what are the challenges that you think that a person will face into and what he should be ready he or she should be ready uh, what type of challenges will we face uh so uh um, you know now uh, as you said there are a lot of businesses and there are a lot of big players in the market right now so uh, one of the big competitor for uh, kairli store right now is big basket you know even they have started uh, you know providing and a lot of customers we have uh, we have seen i mean the rajesh the person who have sold it and they have seen a dip in the orders uh, for the past few months uh, but they, but they don't sell everything so that is again a plus point that we we sell authentic and we sell all of it they just sell packaged uh, products and all Uh, so one of the, the challenges is uh, there are a lot of players out in the market uh, but still uh, if you are starting a business and if you are going with something if you are doing something very new then there will definitely be a very that that uh, first player advantage and the very first advantage you will definitely the pioneer get, advantage uh, pioneer advantage because the, the first person advantage you will get that uh, if 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 provided that business is actually creating value if you are going to do something uh, that already another person is doing that is still okay uh, you just have to differentiate yourself like what is that one factor that differentiates you from uh, that competitor if you if you if you even look uh, uh, historically uh, you'll see uh, for example you know uh, flipkart came in india but again then amazon came and they even took over right a lot of uh, so even both they both are also running so even again funding is also another uh, uh, another thing like you have to burn a lot of money initially uh, in order to get the business and traction and uh, and india uh, itself is a very competitive market uh, for uh, business overall there are a lot of uh, people there are a lot of players small players medium players and big players uh, but again if you if you are truly passionate and if you can uh, uh if you can experiment and if you can uh, find one small differentiator uh, that uh, that the competitor is not offering then definitely you know people will definitely pay for quality if you are giving quality service if you are giving personalized services they will definitely pay premium for that uh, so you know i would not say that uh, you should not do it because they are big players Uh, because there have been a lot of uh, businesses small businesses that have uh, you know taken the market by storm so uh, uh, you have to if if you find something that might if you have uh, an idea and if you are really passionate about it uh, go for it and that's what i say if it works it will work great but uh, uh, but i would never say that don't don't try something because uh, it, but you have to again think like this i mean you have to that market analysis you, you should not uh, think uh, like um, you know that that uh, fantasy kind of a thinking like i will get this much orders you you don't yeah. assume things you have practical. to go on the practical you know uh, have a practical approach and have a, uh, a plan such that and have a 
a clear business plan if you, if you want to start this you know what is the first thing that you have to do clear clearly made business plan and then you have to go about uh, you know go about the starting that business uh, don't just uh, be in a fantasy world and dream world and then you start it because uh, you, you might fail if you don't have a good plan that that, that makes sense so akil uh, can can you quickly like tell us like few major hardships that you have faced uh, in all this journey like since last 3 years what were the major hardships that that were actually uh, de- that demotivated you or that g- gave you a feeling of low low phase uh so i was never demotivated uh, to be uh, precise it was always the challenges were always exciting for me uh, so uh, some of the challenges was again uh, you know starting with technology because uh, initially we were doing on whatsapp right and we wanted to uh, move into a technology where we could manage it so initial challenge was uh, finding the right technology then we found the right technology and the customers expectation also exceeded they wanted an experience that was similar to big basket and groupers yeah. so we wanted to find uh, the right tools to integrate and uh, uh and again then there came a lot of then once we made the experience like ordering experience good we we saw a surge in orders we were uh, at times uh, uh, on any particular day we were delivering about 70 sometimes more than 100 orders in a day hmm. so then again delivery was a problem we wanted to optimize the delivery sometimes we used to initially me and my brother when we used to deliver uh, we used to go through a, you know we we'll look at our, an address we'll go and deliver and after three four orders we we'll look at another address and we'll realize okay this was very near to that we should have delivered it first so then i started looking for optimization solutions for delivery and then uh, we 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 integrated it with another uh, uh, software which will optimize uh, delivery routes so you know without spending the minimum the minimum time spent and the minimum uh, distance you know from a you start from the start point from the warehouse you deliver all the products and get back to that warehouse what is the shortest distance so those kind of solutions so there were a lot of uh, challenges but uh, never discouraged by these challenges so it was always uh, uh, you know um, exciting to work on these challenges and find solutions and when we found solutions and solutions that actually work it was uh, really uh, satisfying very gratifying so um, you know for that gratification uh, i can again do this again all over again so uh, so uh, i think i'm i'm done with my questions akil but uh, finally do, what what do you want to say to the viewers who, who wants to learn more from you just a final statement or something which uh, a, 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 that you want to tell the viewers Uh, uh for any for my viewers uh, if they if they want to i mean if they want any help from me they can always reach out to me on linkedin uh, and for uh, people who are thinking of uh, doing you know going with a startup uh, you know you you have to find the reason why you want to start if you are truly passionate about it uh, your why should be important if money is the only factor that is motivating you to you know do this startup uh, and, and trust me initially nothing is going to work and uh, i i said this with, with a lot of experience uh, i have a lot of failed startups i also have even my brother startup the the interior furnishing business for the first one year uh, he did not make a single penny he was only making barely enough to just pay rent uh, but mm. um, slowly slowly we uh, the we, we we did a lot of uh, changes to the business the way we approach the clients and all and uh, now it is doing fairly well and if you, if you even look at the uh, interior illusions is a uh, name of the interior business and even if you look at the reviews and all you'll see uh, very good reviews and uh, you know it, it is doing very much fine so in what, what i mean to say is uh, initially it is going not going to work and sometimes it's not going to work at all and sometimes it's going to take time but it, it is for you to understand like uh, do you still see a potential you know and one of the things that you have to always uh, remember when you start a business is the scalability of the business you know um, uh, and i'll take i'll take carly store for example you know carly store uh, it has a scalability a small scalability issue to be honest because you know we are only catering to uh, kerala people and just in hyderabad so you know once we reach to all the people in kerala in, in hyderabad the people who want to buy from the kerala brand mostly they will be kerlaites right and yes. that is it that is the overall uh, the, you know it's not scalable beyond that so yeah. when you, when you are starting a business you also think about the scalability you know how many customers can you get and mm. uh, how much how much can you charge per customer how much can you potentially earn from a customer over a period of uh, time 
so you have to look at uh, those things you have to do a thorough research on all these uh, look at what your competitors are doing and what is one thing you, what is a thing that uh, you uh, you can do differently you know go and check their reviews go and check their re uh, reviews on the google pages on quora and all and see uh, what are the complaints uh, that these customers are getting and uh, see if you can uh, do something about that and uh, you know start a business uh, that will solve that problem the customers are facing so you you have to do thorough research but if you have a idea in mind uh, don't give up you know don't give up thinking that okay it is very technology you know you have to know a lot of technology it's not definitely not the case uh, there are solutions the 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 idea and the leadership behind the business should be strong and technology and all it comes secondary you know all that can be figured out uh, there are people who can help uh, develop these things and you know with technology and all uh, but it's about the core idea of the business and if you can and even when you start a business if you when you are uh, thinking of a business if you you have to take that validation you know ask a few people around and it's not like uh, you ask your friends and relatives because they will always say yes most of the yeah. time right? Uh, they will say yes. So uh, try to start a minimum viable product and try to get at least first ten or first five paying customers and have, get uh, their reviews. And I used to do a lot of this. You know, I used to send uh, uh, surveys and all, and uh, get a discount saying that if you complete the survey, we'll give you a discount. And try to get the suggestions and reviews. And we used to do, do a lot of, uh, um, you know, uh, you know, try to improve the customer experience and all. So uh, that is my uh, that is my summary. Like. If you, if you want to start, you definitely start, but do thorough research and be very practical and realistic when you uh, start a business. Yeah, yeah, I think that's it. Uh, thank you, Akil, uh, once again. And I think we we were uh, we almost went an hour <laughs> for this talk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, about 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 fifty minutes. Yeah. So yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks for your time over a weekend, and I know you you have a very busy busy schedule. So thanks for making time for this uh, talk. uh definitely uh, i i think and also few, uh, any of my viewers uh, will uh, will be glad to reach out to you if they have any queries or if they want to have any uh, questions that i did not uh, i was not able to uh, discuss in this call so they can i will be providing your uh, linkedin id everything in the description of this video so yeah thank you so much akil uh, see you definitely next time. aditya yeah. talk to you later then bye aditya yeah. bye bye thank you bye